good expandable belt. Elliot. I don't know how I could have gained so much weight since our wedding. Yes, Mr. Just look at this suit, will you? The last time I wore it was at our wedding. It looked just fine. Now it looks like a... like a guard against shrinkage ad. Elliot, could you come here for a minute? Well, we're not tying my tie, honey. No, now. Honey, we should have left the house 15 minutes ago. Why don't you just get ready and let me get ready? I don't know why we have to eat so much starch in this house anyway. If you're not baking a pie, it's... Allison is fixing some gingerbread or fudge. And we have pancakes every weekend. I don't know how the two of you get into your clothes. It's killing me, that's for sure. I'd appreciate it that from now on, you'd go a little heavy on the meat and the salads. I like salads. Why don't you ever give me salads? You want your husband to have a pot belly in his prime? Do you? Well, do you? Okay, well, what's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. The baby just kicked for the first time, that's all. Well, what do you know? Hello? Hello. How much time do we have? Uh, a minute? Can I take just a minute then to see my friend? Of course you can. I hate weddings. They always make me feel like I'm standing still. Standing still? You know, Alison, when I was in jail, I constructed all these elaborate plots on what I was going to do when I got out. And then you mark time. You mark time for 60 long, boring years, and you're dead before you realize you didn't amount to anything. I would have thought having to live with your grandfather would sort of needle you into doing something. Hey, so did I. You know, the night I moved in, we had this knockdown drag out at dinner. He promised not to mention my future again if I, if I just read a few books. Well, that sounded innocent enough. Except he chooses the books. I wonder what it's like to be like your grandfather. To be able to change whole worlds and people, too. It's being alive. You know, half dead, that old man is more alive than I am. I can't even get started to buy a two-bit business. But the garage, you've been thinking about it too much. Oh, I've been talking about it too much, too. Yeah, like I've been talking about leaving you. I suppose I've just been too happy to be well again. You know, Allison, it's easy for us to just float along doing nothing. Nine birds used to come here every day. And while I was in the hospital, they all flew away and never came back anymore. Except for one. A very confident young blue jay. He was the one who'd tell them all when they could eat and how much they could have. He'd scold them and tell them jokes. He was my favorite. I named him Rodney. That should sound very much like the Rodney I know. I was always a little bit afraid of him because he seemed so sure of his place in the sun. He made me nervous because, you see, I wasn't. And that's silly to be afraid of a little bird. Are you still afraid of him? No. He doesn't frighten me anymore. What's he lost all his self-confidence? No, it isn't that. When I came back from the hospital, he was glad to see me. Before, you see, he was always so popular with all the other birds, I thought that if I started to like him too much, he'd just go on to another garden, chop me up as another conquest. But he was the only one who waited for me. And then I knew that I meant something special to him. And then I wasn't afraid anymore. that wedding now.
we're trying to... Close your eyes and hold out your hands. What? Close your eyes and hold out your hands. Diva and Nip. On earth. Okay. Oh! Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you, Mother. You didn't disappoint me. That's exactly what I thought you'd say. Oh, well, is it yours? Until the first of each month, and then if I don't make the payment, the little man with a long title takes it back to the show. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. And you deserve it. You said that, but I'm not arguing. Stephen, I'm very happy for you. Thank you. And I don't mean just about the car. I know. I hope you find everything you're looking for. I think I will. You deserve the best. I'm getting it. Mother, I know those congratulations were for me and Betty. Of course. I love her, Mother. You make it sound like a warning. It's a fact. Stephen, I'd, uh, I'd like to give you my gift now. Though. There'll be so much confusion after a while. Could you wait? Give it to both of us? Please, Stephen. All right. For you, Stephen. With my love. One of those new houses fronting the country club. Those places start at 30,000. Yes, they are overpriced, but uh, very comfortable. I understand. Well, Stephen, it's, it's the least I could do. I, I wanted to give you something that we never had. A home. A new home for a new life. I don't know what to say. This is so enormous. But, how, well, this is paid in full. It's just paid in full. How did you do this? It's not important. Well, I think it is. I, I hope Betty likes it. But the mother... Could at least say thank you. Stephen, come in here. What did Mr. Payton have to do with this? Nothing. I want to know. Talk later. Steven! I think you'd better. Does Miss Anderson know you have a hearing problem? I was talking to my mother. Oh? She just gave me my wedding gift. It's a deed to a house. Paid in full. That was very generous of her. Yes, it was. I hope you thanked her properly. It must have taken her a long time to save so much. Your mother's very clever with money. I have a present for you, too. From today on, You'll manage all my business affairs in Peyton Place, including the mill. Well, this is my day for presents, isn't it? You'll work for this one. I merely opened the door for you. Since you want to pass, get away some underbrush. Where you want it to lead is up to you. What about Mr. Dow? He's retiring. He didn't mention it to me. He doesn't know about it yet. As simple as that. You can always say no, Stephen. It won't stop Dowell's head from rolling, but it might wipe that pained look off your face. What is it, Stephen? What else do you want of me? Some fatherly advice? Perhaps. 
I'm being foolish? Uh, a toast to the bride and groom. Long life and happiness. Bad luck to refuse a toast. Especially on your wedding day. There's another glass here, Hannah. Thanks. strange. No one said just once. It's a pity your father is. So I'd like to propose a toast of my own. To my father. Wherever he is. Continuing story of Peyton Place. One woman to love and be loved by for a lifetime. Isn't that what you want? Mr. Peyton has given Stephen all his legal business in Peyton Place, including the mill. You'll be dealing with Stephen, now, Leslie. Don't let Betty's past blind you to her virtues. She has drive and ambition. But Rodney will never find in Alice. <laughs>